every time you pull the trigger and you have the batteries in this blaster, it does sound like this. I should make that my intro music instead. Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and there are a lot of blasters online that I keep track of but never end up purchasing. Maybe they're a little bit too expensive and I don't want to waste my money on them for fear of getting a bad product, or they're just not something I ever see myself using, like in a game, or ever again. I don't really want to accumulate just for that purpose. One thing in particular that I saw recently was this grenade pistol. I saw a review from Clowny Nerf, he went over it in detail, and it looked kind of interesting. I also saw the same uh, model from Foam From Above recently, he was testing it out and I confirmed that it didn't seem to have good performance as a result. At 25 bucks, it wasn't really something that I wanted to risk my money on. However, as it would so happen, the price decreased, and little old me decided why the heck not. It is in fact a grenade pistol, the official listing called iHar Pro Blaster, toy set moving shooting targets game indoor-outdoor shooting practice set popper gun shooter with popper guns and four foam balls for kids family. It's that last part that makes me upset. Four foam balls. They're not balls, grenades, rockets, any of those would have sufficed, whatever. And it's nice to see another company getting in on that pro line. iHeart Pro, better watch out Dart Zone, you've got some competition. It advertises ranges of about 10 meters. 10 meters is about 30, a little over 30 feet. I'm doubtful of that. And here it is, it's a box. It says grenade pistol, I, I don't know what that text says, but I'm going to assume grenade pistol. Ta-da, it's beautiful. Unfortunately, the packaging is the box only because everything that comes inside is a bit squished together. First off, uh, what was not included in the listing, but you get it anyways, it is this frying pan, cast iron skillet, I don't know. It says not PUBG on it. It's a P-I-I. BG. So, you know, it's official. Official for something else. And it's got this sticker target on the back, which is just slapped on there. And it's hilarious because, like, anything smaller than seven, how the heck are you gonna hit it with this rocket? Get out of here. It does indeed come with four foam soft balls, or excuse me, um, rockets. How could I be so silly? Now these rockets, as I expected, are similar to the rockets you would have received if you were the unfortunate person to purchase one of those unofficial Nerf mortars. I don't know what they're officially calling them online because there's so many different listings, but I reviewed one way back when. It's ultimately just a tube and you drop one of these rockets in and it shoots out because these also have springs inside of them, so they are their own system. The blaster itself does nothing, it's just for looks. These ones, well, they're yellow and they have a white head. You can unscrew the cap. And there's a little tab here that you pull out and you can turn it on. And there'll be some lights that start flashing. And with the white head, that means that your rockets are going to glow. It's not a impact driven light system, you just turn it on or turn it off. It seems like it'd be pretty well protected because this foam is not going to give, or if it does, I guess you've got some bigger problems. So I see this as relatively harmless in low light conditions, that could be fun. The overall construction quality of these rockets is not great, it's very soft, very cheap. Just to compare and contrast, here's a genuine Nerf missile or demolisher rocket, whatever you want to call them much, much higher quality, especially with the head being a different material. They're a little bit more on par with Busby rockets. Um, maybe how long they'll last is also similar to Busby rockets. And again, four is a nice quantity to get with your single blaster. I just dropped everything. Let's look at the actual blaster, shall we? And here it is. It's very simple. It comes in a few different colors. I've seen tan, I've seen yellow. I went with yellow because it just looked a little bit more bold. The scope is removable, um, not pleasant, but you can take it off. All those bits are removable too. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be that easy, but yay, high quality product. Not that the scope does anything special, it's just a, just a hole through the center. But um, I guess you can use this rail for anything else if you really want to. The overall look to this thing is kind of cool. The hammer does nothing. 
Almost looks like just a whale's tail on the back there, a whale of a tail. The handle is a reasonable size for my hand. Maybe this part on the bottom rides up a little bit if you have a bit of a larger hand, but for me, it's perfectly comfortable. The trigger has like no resistance because really you're just releasing the spring from inside the rocket. We'll fire it in a second. And these front decals are kind of whatever. I noticed on mine, you can see the different sides. Like one side is like already kind of separating and the other side is fine. So yes, high quality, definitely guaranteed with this kind of product. So how does it work? Well, you take your rocket, you shove it in the front right there, and then you pull the trigger. God, that's a terrible sound. How far does it go? Does it go 10 meters or about 10 meters? Let's call it about 20 feet. It's actually on par with the Lego uh, Nerf 1M Grand that I reviewed earlier. Why yes, I did already minimize this quite a bit. Don't worry about that. But it's not a high performer as expected. Is it safe? Probably. Only one way to find out. Not terrible, but I mean, you'd want to wear eye protection and not shoot people in the head with this thing. Inside, as you can probably imagine then, it's just that peg. If I really want to be dumb, I guess I can put other rockets in the front, but nothing's going to happen, you know, because there's no spring inside of those. But uh, for modders out there, in case you needed uh, a reason to buy this thing for modding purposes, the rockets have some lights in them. The blaster does have some sounds. And while everyone's getting hyped for some amazing blasters coming out later this year from major companies that are going to be absolute blasts, here we've got this guy. And what does it bring to the table? Something amazing. Every time you pull the trigger and you have the batteries in this blaster, it does sound like this. Ow. The sound comes out of the handle, so technically, if you just move your hand down a little bit, you could dampen it a little. That's an interesting uh, sound bite to use, and I'm curious where they actually took it from. It sounds like the beginning might be appropriate, but then it just goes completely bananas kind of looks like a banana too. Do I see that being something that I would use as a result? I don't know, it's uh, a little too much. Trebuchet. Shot put. Max distance. He tripped over one. <laughs> he tripped over the first. Odin, hmm? eyes up. Hey. <laughs> so I have three now. So that's all I really have to say about this thing right now. I can think of a few scenarios where I would use this in a game. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking already. You Brit, do the thing, say the line. I'd run that in a war. I'd probably use this before I'd use that unofficial nerf mortar again, because this at least is small. For what it is, if you can find it at a discount and you want some interesting rockets, I should probably turn the lights off of that other one that I turned on, then maybe this blaster is for you. Maybe find some extra rocket packs as well, and you can have a good old amount of fun until these things break, or until you want an actual competitive or useful blaster. But that's not what my channel is about, now is it? So let me know what you think of this thing. Would you want it? Would you wish it upon your worst enemy? Would you wish that sound upon your worst enemy? I sure would. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you later. finger on the trigger, it won't end!